How did they make sure the damn mic was on? Uh, so, hello guys, Cyber Dragon here. So, it's been a little bit. Three days, so. That was the last video I recorded. That was on Rapa. Uh, anyways, today, uh, I will tell you guys the upload schedule first. This, uh, I will be uploading Scorpion tomorrow. Then, this is how it's gonna go. Rapper, Scorpion, Bradley, Scorpion, Rapper. This will kind of be on a repeat until Scorpion is over. Because I want to make room for a new What If that will be coming out in October. A Halloween special. I'll post the, a thumbnail on my community tab whenever it comes closer to October. I hope you guys will be excited for that. Because, also, there's only will be, like, five-ish more parts until Scorpion's over. I won't be covering I Island or the Nine event, because those two are not really as important for this What If. Not for that What If. But for this What If, it will be. But yeah. Uh, also, I want to show off some drawings that uh, on the Discord. So I figured I'd just show you them. And yeah. Uh, but in any case, you all. Uh, I hope you all will still enjoy this. What if? And I hope you guys will be looking forward to what will come of Scorpion in the next few parts. Because, that again, there's only like five more parts at most I can think of. Until we put it on hiatus for o for the overhaul. Because I normally either put it, a what if on hiatus when it comes around or on the overhaul arc, which is season four. Which I think will be a comfortable spot to leave any what if for the time being until more what ifs can come to part. And then when the energy and liveliness of the like of that what if comes back. That's why meta hasn't come back anytime hasn't come back yet and uh some other what ifs that I'm planning on bringing back at some point will also be. Uh I'm just not sure when. But still I guess when season 5 is officially released, I will continue, like, more of the dub and sub watch it, uh, more dub watches also watch it, cause I don't wanna, uh, cause I don't, I, cause I, nah, I give a waiting period of other people who hasn't watched it yet, because I don't like to spoil shit, a minimum of 6 weeks at least, I think it's fair, but yeah. Uh, I think I've driven on talking for that long period of time now. Uh, this part will cover two major parts for them. Deku and Midnight's first date and their wedding about a year before, well, maybe more or less a year before UA actually starts. So... Currently, Deku is, again, 18, so... But we will get off with the recap. Last part, Midnight officially broke up with Greg, which Greg was attacked by some gang members. Sent by, sent by Deku, who called in to Ujiko to attack him. And after that attack, some police was called over and heroes, which two heroes, you Takayama, aka Mount Lady, and Kamui Wee Woods, was sent there. To, because, well, you know Mount, um, Midnight a lot. But that also led them to meeting each other and meeting Aerie. But now, it has been four months since... Midnight has been living up there. And, well, 
she starts to develop feelings for Deku more. And so has Deku. Not knowing that he has. In a way. Because, well, he never had a normal life. So he would never know what love actually feels like as much. And Midnight try to pay for rent. But Deku keeps denying her that. Because she, he says... The things you do around here and helping Eri is enough for to you to live here. Which makes her both happy and sad. Happy that he... That she can take care of Eri and, well... Be in his life. But sad that she's not helping as much as she thinks. But with the amount of she has done, Eri can't help but... Call her mama. Which is when we're gonna get on that. Uh, what? Is it bad I'm calling you mama? It's just how I saw you look at papa a lot. So you look at him with the same eyes I do, but somehow different. Um, uh, Aerie, um... So... I do care about... I... I don't mind you calling me mama, but, um, so, thing is, what, do you not love papa? I, um, uh, I see papa like I do the same way whenever you're not looking. So, he looks at you with the sparkling, sparkly eyes a lot. So, I... I do like your father quite a bit, Harry. I haven't felt like this since, well, and ever actually. Would that mean you'd be asking him out soon? Like, what do you know about that type of stuff? Like, not much, but Aunt Yu tells me stuff. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have to have a talk with her and see what kind of stuff she's been talking about with you. But yes, I will ask your father out here soon. Yay! Now then, I'm gonna finish preparing dinner, okay? You go and say hi to your papa. Okay. So, Midnight goes downstairs to finish up dinner. While Aerie runs to his office. And knocks on his door. Hmm? Who is it? It's me, papa. Oh, come in. There he runs in. What is it, my little unicorn? So, do you love Miss Midnight, Papa? Hmm. And a monologue? I do have... I have been having some feelings. Is this what it is? Love? Well, I guess so, Harry. <coughs> Shit. This has inhaled something bad. Okay. Is that you do? <laughs> yes, I think I do. That's great! Is that because Mama was going to ask you in on a date? Huh? Like, yeah. So... She said she also likes you, but she hasn't had time to ask you out yet. Oh, did she now? Like, mm hmm. Then they hear, dinner's ready. Like, let's go, Papa. Coming, uh, Aerie. And I'll ask Midnight, he, uh, Miss Midnight, or Mama here soon, okay? Like, okay. So. Now, they both went downstairs to see Midnight in the kitchen. <laughs> so, you guys ready for dinner? Of course. Let me uh, No. Ah, damn it. I practiced in saying this name so many times. Namuri. There we go. <clears throat> Namuri Kayama. Yeah. Namuri Kayama. I had someone on the Discord actually sent me a fucking video to remember that name too. <laughs> Miss Midnight, Miss Midnight. Hmm? What is it, Aerie? Like, 
So Papa said he's going to also ask you in on a date too. So now you both can just go on a date instead. Huh? I'm hungry now. She runs to the din- dinner table. Um, Ari, what about you take your dinner to the living room and watch TV? So, I can watch TV and eat dinner. Yay! So she grabs her food and runs to the living room to watch, I don't know, Peppa Pig or something a little kid would watch. Well, uh, Namuri, what do you say? Do you want to go out on a date with me? I would love to, um, Bradley, but I can't believe you beat me to it. <laughs> Actually, I think she beat, Ari beat us both to it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, well then, I'll call, I'll get us a reservation. So, but for now, let, what, let's go and join Ari for dinner. So, it's been a while since we actually seen Peppa Pig together. I've seen Peppa Pig with her in a while. Of course. So, couple days later, <clears throat> Midnight actually called you to let her know the good news, and you was ecstatic that Midnight would go on a date finally with Bradley. And she has agreed to watch Aerie. So, the night of the date, Midnight and, not Midnight, well, Mount Lady and Aries helping Midnight get ready for her date. Uh, well, how do I look? <laughs> you look great! They both said that at the same time. You look so pretty, Mama. Oh, thank you, Aerie. So. Now, sir, you know what to do, you? Sir, don't sweat it. Sir, I can take care of this little munchkin here. Sir, yeah. Sir, ain't you gonna let me eat all the ice cream I want and watch some, some interview TV? Uh, you better not. So, or else. Uh... Yeah, I'll, um... Oh, hey, you're gonna be late for your date. Come on, let's go downstairs. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, they went downstairs. And when they do, Midnight sees Roald Deku dressed like this. Except for minus a mustache and his hair is green. So, can't imagine Deku look with you know, that. Which forces Midnight to nosebleed. Uh, so, new movie, are you okay? Like, oh, um, yeah, you just, uh, look too handsome. <laughs> well, thank you. You also look very nice, new Mary. Like, now, shall we go? Yeah. Oh, but first... You, huh? If I see Ari up or in all the ice cream con, I can assure ch- you that you have some. So, so the punishment will be very unpleasant. Um. Right, oh, hey, you two should probably get it on your date. You don't want to be late. For those reservations now. Okay, bye. As she is pushing them out the door. <sighs> Let's enjoy our night for now, okay? <laughs> okay. So. Deku and Midnight went to a very nice restaurant. And, well, not much really happens. They talk for a bit, they get to know each other's more personal lives and their past, which for Deku, he doesn't like say his true past, of course. He just says he can't remember much of it, and 
his plans in life was realistically just to take care of Harry. He didn't have much of a plan that, any, except that. Hell, he didn't even think he would go on a date ever in his life. Which, Midnight was surprised. Then she started to think. He's very strong. He has a powerful quirk. And he's not too old. Or not even old to even become a hero yet. So, why don't you become a hero? Hmm? What do you mean? Like, well, think about it. You're very powerful. You can pretty... I think you might be able to save more people than most other heroes. And, well, if you go to UA, you can spend a lot more time out there. Hmm. It would be a nice place to get information for the League. Plus, I can at least do it on my own merit. Not them having to tell me. So, I can at least make this my own decision. And hell, it would not be my first own decision I've ever made in my life. Going on the state and taking care of areas my own two decisions. I greatly accept it. Why? How can I ever refuse that often? S- Namiri. Let's enjoy our dinner for now. And I will register for whenever UA does his entrance exam again. Look, of course. So. And if you're wondering when the UA entry exam is, it is about a year and a half for when Deku can actually apply. And remember, UA for this, you have to be 20 to be able to, you know, enter UA. So, or at least 20, 2021. Somewhere in that ballpark. But yeah. After a night of talking, enjoying each other's time, they finally head back home. When they do, they see Ari on the kitchen table with empty ice cream containers all around her. Ice cream all over her face. And a a spoon in her hand. With you on the couch, passed out. Deku slowly re- re- uh, pulls out his sword. Now I'll handle her. You take care of our daughter. Right. Wait, our daughter? Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. So... She already sees you as a mother, so I don't see a problem with calling her ours. And I would hope we can go on more dates. Uh, yeah, of course. Great. You take care of your friend now. I'll put our daughter to sleep. Right. So, the night ends like that for them. With midnight, well... Using her whip, and you leaving with several marks, and I'm not gonna say where. Just let your imaginations run wild at where the punishment was. You sick fucks. But yeah. And they continue to go on more dates. More and more. Until about six or eight months later, he is currently 19. They have lived with each other for more than a year now, dated for close to a year. And he's just on his, in his office with a small box in his hands. Hmm. I think it's about time. He goes downstairs to find Namiri. Uh, Namiri, uh, you have Sayazuku? 
I've got a question. Uh, what is it? Well, first, you and me have known each other for a very, very long time now. And the past few, uh, past year to now has been a great journey for me. Through good and bad times, you and me have stuck by each other. And you show me a new perspective of life. Raising Ari with me, you know, and, well, all that. But I want to know, he gets on one knee. Uh, is Yuku? Like, Numeri Kaya, will you marry me? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Oh, fuck, wait, I was supposed to say that he would took him on the beach. Yeah, fuck it, I'm just going to skip over that part. And Amy's currently not at the house. They also been sleeping in the same bed with each other for about a couple months. I'm forgetting some information. I'm now just filling out. Sorry, guys. But Midnight didn't have sex with him. Because, you know, life of, you know, living with Greg. Which I've seen a lot of you guys say, fuck Greg, on my comment section now. Which I think that is great. Well, she never... She was uncomfortable at first, thinking that he would ask, but no, he never did. He's a true gentleman, you swine. But tonight might be a different story. Like, you know, Ari isn't home right now. She'll be at uh, Yu's house with Kamui for a while. Oh, what do you have in mind? <laughs> well, you may never... Done it, I have the itch now. So, you want to take me to your room and have a little fun? Um, uh, uh, uh okay. <laughs> you're too cute when you're nervous. Like, well, you'll be my first. Oh, then we better make this an extra special one. And one. No, two hours later, Midnight is twitching. She can't feel her damn legs. With an orgasmic smile on her, with Deku, big spooning her up. So, I'm not going to do too much dilly-dallying with the whole planning of the wedding and shit like that, because fuck that noise. They will... We skipped to six, no, wait. yeah, six months later, because I think weddings do take that long. And it's about a few months until you answer to Sam, exactly. At very most. About almost a year to six months, to nine months, ten months, actually, till you answer to Sam. So... You invited, uh, uh, me, uh, Numiri, aka Mount Lady, and I'm at, fuck, Midnight, god damn it, I'm my own, uh, Discord at this point, so, uh, Midnight had invited a lot of different people, well, mostly the UA staff and some of the heroes she knows. While Deku only invited one, and tap one person in general. Dr. Ujiko, which Ujiko isn't known to be in the League of Villains, so he's not really worried. But he will pose as Deku's, well I want to say pose exactly, he is kind of Deku's adopted father. 
which if you see the bride and groom side of the building, you only see Ujiko on Deku's side of the building. But we skip to the ceremony itself. So I'm mostly skipping over some of the conversations we did have in the Discord for Bradley. Because one, I can't remember all the exact same things we talked about in the Discord. Like all the small conversations they had with like Mirko, Miss Joke. Other than like them saying how handsome Deku looks or some shit. And well, yeah. And there's also Hawks. Not a whole lot of the top 10 heroes, honestly. Realistically, it's just UA staff. Now, the ceremony starts. Aria is a little flower girl. Which everyone thinks is adorable. Of course, of course it is, it's Aerie. And if you're wondering, Deku found her at 4. She is currently 6 or 7. Because I say so. So... And, well, when Midnight walks down the aisle, Deku ha- can't help but admire her in that wedding dress. You look nice today. <laughs> oh, thanks. You do too. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to uh, bless this marriage in, with these two in mar- holy matrimony. Do you, Izuku Bradley, take her as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And the movie Kayami. Ah, or Kayamaki? Kayama. Do you take him as your lawful wedded husband? I do. Well then, you may kiss the bride. As Deku is about to, the door bursts violently open. Well, well, well. If it isn't the bitch cheating on me. It is Greg who bursts through the door. Greg, what are you doing here? I came here because I heard a certain woman of mine... Apparently he's getting married other to than to me. What are you thinking, sir? Sir. Shit. Uh, what the fuck? The Murray. So, Greg, we're not even dating. Now get the, now get out of here. Like, no, I'm taking you home where you belong. Now, come on. As Greg starts to step up, uh, Aries steps in front of him. Like, leave my mom alone. Like, kid, this woman doesn't have a mom. She would have been about a couple years back, but so uh, that little fucker died. So get out of my way. He slaps Aerie out the way. As Aerie now on the ground crying. So Ben I go to help her. Like, what do you think you're going, bitch? As Greg was about to reach for him. And all the heroes are on guard now. Deku. Well, Deku stabbed his hand. The hand he was about to hit uh, Midnight with. As Greg looked at his hand. Ah! I don't think you quite understand what's going on here. I am married. I'm trying to marry my wife here soon. And you're ruining my and her, her special day. Now, I would have easily let you off with a fair warning, but you also hurt my kid. 
So, prepare for some pain. Why, you... As he's about to talk again, Deku just cuts him down. Not in a literal sense, like, he just sliced him up a bunch. On his chest. Kind of like the scene from the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood anime when Bradley actually cut, like, tacked greed. Kind of like that, but still. He got his eye, he kind of cut him up a lot to the point he's on the ground with Deku stabbing two, hit both his swords in his throat. Nowhere vital, or neck, nowhere vital, but he can't scream. Like, no. Get? No. As Midnight is comforting Aerie, Deku raised one of his blades over his head, about to kill Grey. He swings, then Midnight yells him to stop. A centimeter away from his neck, he stopped. As you wish. Wipes off the blood off his blade. Now, someone call the police and get the scum out of here. I want to... Con- I want to have no more interruptions from him. Did he just take him out in a couple of seconds? Yeah, Zara, he just did. Mike, go and tell the police what happened. Uh, right. Like, boy, you gotta teach me those. Okay, if I could use those. Like, how he strike with my feathers? I would probably be up higher in that endeavor at this point. Like, yeah, he probably would. So, with all that interruption, Deku and Midnight continue the ceremony. A little off now that all of that just happened, but... Eventually, they do finish it with a nice kiss. And then everyone went to the little after party. Midnight a little bummed that that just all happened today. But sees Ujiko about to leave. Oh, I probably should talk to that man. He was the only one who Izuku invited. Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Oh, you must be the lovely bride. So, what can I do? Like, uh, I was just wondering, what's your relationship with my husband now? Oh, well, I'm his adopted father, making you my daughter-in-law in a way. Oh, I never actually met, he never actually met you. Yes, I prefer to keep my, well, involvement in such, what, he knows I like my secrecy and privacy. So I often do not, so do not like to talk about myself or about him. But I do come to events like this, or even just to come and see him. And sometimes I haven't lately. Oh, um, okay. Uh, so, can you explain something? What is it? What? exactly how did you meet him or when did you adopt him like hmm since ever he was an infant actually poor thing never had a mother so so I raised him on my own saw something very special in him and well here we are now I can't be more prouder than I am now than how he turned out. Like, <laughs> I have to agree with you on that. Thank you. But I hate to go now, but uh, the hospital always has me working. I'll see you later. Uh, Sir Nimiri Bradley. Like, thank you. So, Ujiko left, and the night went off without any problems. Even with Deku and Midnight consummating the wet marriage at home. But the next 
few days. Greg is at a police station. Still. In a private room. Till someone stepped in. Hello there. What are you doing here? You son of a bitch. There'll be enough time for that. You know, it's quite easy for me to come in here and pay off the guards. With all the heels running around. So they don't have as much pay. Just give them a few bucks here or there. And they pretty much let you do anything you want with any of the prisoners. Bring it whatever they want you want in. And well, have a little quality time. So, what? Like, oh, yes. Uh, it's quite nice to know that Hero Society has made the police quite lazy and desperate for money. Well then. Shall we have our fun now? As Deku pulls out a knife. Uh, I'm not normally one to use knives. But I'm willing to do new things. Especially if the bastard who hurt my daughter and ruined my wedding day. Oh, and also called my wife a bitch. As we cut out of that room, to see a guard counting money while he has headphones on. All you can hear from that room is screaming, and it fades out to black. That will end the video, guys. The next part will actually be My Hero Canon events. Like UA entrance exam, UA itself, all that good shit. Tell me what you guys think about this part. Uh, you will guys probably see a um, thumbnail for the next What If series that's going to be posted on October, as I said. Even if Scorpion is still going, I will most likely post the part for that until we end Scorpion. It is a Halloween What If, so I hope you guys look forward to that. It is based off of one of my favorite characters that I usually watch around Halloween time or... In general, at certain few days, so that only happened a few times a year. So that's all I'm giving you as a hint. So, I hope you guys enjoyed Cyber Dragon out.